we are going to measure the losses in the fiber optic cable. Using so there are three types of losses here. We have to measure the losses by using by changing the end gap displacement, either or by changing the angular displacement or lateral lateral displacement. Now we'll start off by uh, setting a benchmark here of 4.16 volts. So th this is the no loss mode. Now we'll start changing one one parameter one by one, and then initially for the low, no loss mode, you have to set all the parameters to zero, so that there is no gap between two fibers. Yeah. So now we we'll start off by changing the angle, angular displacement. Ah, start sir. Okay. So when we do it to minus 10 degrees of it, only one fiber, you can see there's a change from 4.16 to 3.28 volt. Okay. So we have Vivek Kitani writing here the readings. Are Kitani. And now we'll change it to minus 20 degrees. So there's a change from 3.28 to 2 volts. Now we further change it to minus 30 degrees and it has come down to 800 millivolts which is pretty less. Now lateral chalega the same loss I Clockwise and clockwise. Now we'll change the end gap displacement, that is the distance between the optical fibers. Okay. So now this using this. Yeah. So now we'll change it to 0.25. Okay. Now again it has come down to 3.84 from 4.16. Now we'll change it to 0.5. That is the distance between two fibers. Again, there's not much change here. Now we'll change it to 0.75. It has come down to 3.36. Very good. And this is one, right? This is one. It's come down to 3 volts. 3.04 volts. Okay. Start. Now, uh, this is the last phase where we have to measure the lateral displacement. That is, if there are two fibers like this, lateral displacement entails the fiber changes its direction from here, as in goes this way. Wow. So now similarly, uh, when we change this knob here, we'll have different readings. Now if we change it to minus 1 mic millimeter, we'll, we have a shift here from 3.84 to 3.36 volts. Similarly, if we change it to from minus 1 to minus 2 here, we have a change of, it comes down to 160 millivolts, which is very less. You can't see the signal. Now we'll bring back the signal back to zero and then change to plus plus one milli, millimeter. And we get almost negligible voltage. Finally we did the experiment. Thanks. Yes, it's me. You guys will see me for the first time doing an experiment. I don't want this fucking guy.